Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kong and this is Out of Work Outdoors. Today, I got a little treat for you guys. We're going to be uh, testing some Amazon products and seeing how well they clean fish. So that's the entire video today. We're going to be testing Amazon products that will help make your life a little bit easier. So if you're still stuck in the spoon and fork and knife days, this might actually help you out. Well, the past couple of months I've been looking at all types of different products just to make my life easier so that I can review them and maybe you guys can benefit off of it. So there's everything from like $1 items to $400 items and I was kind of like you know some of those I was skeptical on and some of them were like you know that's definitely not going to work. But I did find some in, that I believe in my mind the, the concepts are pretty sound they should work. Number one is this thing. So basically what this is, is uh, a lot of times when you're working on a fish, if, especially if it's on a uh, table or anything, the fish are pretty slimy, they seem to uh, slide around a lot. So you gotta hold them down somehow. Some people nail the like head or the tail to a board, but this is just a little clip that just holds them. Very, very simple. Like I said, all these, all these products will be in the video description. You can click on it, it'll link you right to Amazon and you'll, you can buy them that way. It's probably the easiest way to do it. And that kit actually comes with two, which is pretty neat. I think it's two. The next thing on the list is this thing. It's a kit. I think this was nine bucks. Don't don't quote me, but it's like ten bucks. But it comes with four items. Okay, it comes with four of these items. These are pretty much proven items. Now the build quality, because they're ten bucks, they're a little eh, they're a little suspect or a little sus, right? Uh, but proven designs, you know, proven designs, we we still use this one, another proven design. Now the only thing that really caught my eye out of this kit was this thing. Uh, I just want to know how well it works because supposedly you can scrape across the, the, uh, the scales and this thing collects the scales and then you can go and dump them out later. So I actually just wanted to try it. Alright. And then I wanted to say, okay, well, those, those are basic hand tools, right? Those are basic hand tools. Uh, they they should work, you know. But what about something a lot a lot better? So I said, well, you know, let's let's up it a little bit. Go to like a forty dollar range, forty fifty dollar range, and get something pretty cool, you know. So I wanted to, you know, cut down a lot on time, a lot. So bought this. This is a electric electric fish scaling machine. Lithium battery power. So it has forward and reverse switch on here. All right, big fish on the table. So first things first, we're gonna try this one. Not bad. Try this one. This one actually works better. <laughs> that actually works better. That's number one right now. Let's try this one. This one feels just like a fork. Yeah. 
I don't know why they had two holes, but. Yeah. It's good for like tight spots. But... I don't know. This one works pretty good. Who would have thought? Hmm, I'm surprised. <laughs> this one works pretty good. Yeah. It's done already. That's how you scale that side. Oh, I forgot, man. I forgot to clip it. See, you have to have it clip because if you don't clip it, it's going to slide off. My table is too small. Alright. Right. We already know how good these work. Try this thing. Have you seen the video for this, Jack? Mm -hmm. The video for this, supposedly you just go like this and it collects it. <laughs> this doesn't work. <laughs> it's too small. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Turn around. Pinch the mouth. There we go. Pinch the mouth. Pinch the mouth. Okay. This is where like the you see the commercial and it's just like so good. Oh, it collects it though. I think this is not good if you're doing outside. I think it's good if you do inside in the sink. Yeah. Yeah, if you have a small fish, like a crappie or a bass, something that's this big, okay, not this big. It's already damaging the plastic. Feels like I'm scraping you with my fingernails. <sighs> cool idea, don't recommend it. I go back to this one. You know, fast to do. Yeah, that works pretty good. Nice. Yeah. This is the winner. For sure. Okay, so there's the aftermath of tools. Uh, also, cleaning the tools is one of those things where should be taken into account so as you can see I use this one quite a bit it's not bad and the scales might get stuck in the hole but not bad this one didn't really use too much because I felt like it felt like a fork no scales stuck on it it's pretty good I still haven't figured out how to use if there is a use for these two holes this one is the one I've always been using of course I was using an a, a upgraded version of this but Still the same design, but the, the problem with this one is always scales getting stuck, you know, kind of here. There's always scales getting stuck, so that's the downside of that one. So far, so far, that's my pick. And this one, this is a pretty cool design, don't get me wrong. It is probably the most advanced out of all of them. Uh, the scale goes up on this side or on this side, and then it catches it in here. The only downside is I felt like I had to use it. I have to put extra pressure on it to get the scales to go, but once the scales go, they, they land in here, which is it's pretty good if you're going to do this in, say, your apartment sink or whatever, you know, it's probably, this is probably the one because it, it, it will collect the scales and the scales just don't go everywhere. But at the same time, this is a lot of work. This is actually more work than the other four, uh, a lot more work. The hand tools are done. 
and we're gonna start using the auto tools. Automatic tools. All right. This is probably the one that everybody's been waiting for. Uh, I don't know what to say, but let's try it. Go the other way. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> not bad not bad I feel like I'm grinding though <laughs> yeah it's actually pretty good so that was going against the grain yeah it's not that's not bad. against the grain But harder to control. Harder to control going against the game. Oops, you want to go with? With is what you do. Two hand operation. This thing kicks too, so it might be dangerous. <laughs> but when it works, it works great. Look at that. Yeah, looks pretty good. Get the belly. It just, it just throws scales everywhere. Straight throws it everywhere. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. The idea is there. The idea definitely works. But not a hundred percent sold. I mean, I already bought the tools, so I'll use them. But not a hundred percent sold, man. There's gotta be a better solution out there. So, see, that's the crazy part. After all that, so you get your favorite tools and get all these little spots, you know? Because that tool can't get it. You still gotta get all these little spots In, underneath the fins and stuff, you know? Did it save a lot of time? Uh, not really. To be honest, not really, because I I know what I'm doing, and that's the other thing. I know what I'm doing. This is probably the millionth fish I've scaled, so I know what I'm doing with the hand tools already. If you don't, then that actually might might help you out. So. There it is. It's two fish scaled up.
All right, guys. So the thing is, from different species to different species, these tools they kind of get better or they get worse. So for this, this is the one I've been raving about for the hybrids and the stripers. This one on the fish that have real thick scales, it struggles. It doesn't do very well. Let's try this one. That one's even worse. But this one... That's when this one is worth its weight in gold because it, it even though even though it's still slow it's consistent from fish to fish to fish okay there's a bunch of scales on the screen too but it's consistent the time is still there time is still quick and still does pretty good so that's a nod off to the $40 item <laughs> all right guys so there we go we tested everything we got the $40 electric scraping fish scaler machine got it tested and we also got the uh the four piece for 10 bucks you know so i'm kind of leaning towards the four piece 10 bucks right now because these lived up to my expectations and this one this one kind of didn't it was kind of didn't so uh yeah it is what it is so the recommendation goes to this one if you could just buy this tool by itself it would be pretty cool and i'll try to find a link for that too in the video description but anyways these are the tools from amazon we've tested today somewhat surprised but it is from amazon so uh yeah uh if you guys feel like these are something that'll work for you especially if you like this guy i feel like some some people might actually like this guy just because say if you're if you're cleaning fish in your sink and you don't have an outdoors place kind of like i do this might actually come in handy the only downside is it's really hard to uh, use for the bigger fish. If you got the little fish, you can say crappie, largemouth bass, panfish, I think this will be pretty good. So it's, it was just kind of like out of place on the bigger fish because they have big scales and I really had to work them real hard. Uh, this one worked really well. This one worked just like, like I expected and this one felt like I was using a fork. So if you're going to buy this, I feel like just use a fork. Although I never used it to its full potential because I think this also helps you gill or degill the fish, right? And this guy, this guy was just cool to use. I mean, it's like grinding. It's like grinding away at pieces of metal or something. But, you know, in terms of speed, uh, it didn't really save that much speed. It did in terms of speed and time, right? Because I'm pretty good with this. This is pretty quick. But if you're going to do this, say you're going to gut 10 fish, that's when this kind of comes in. Yeah, so that's my review. Hope you guys like it. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you guys want to, if you want us to see more, more tests like this, uh, let me know. We'll definitely do some more. All right, guys. See ya. This is Connery from Out of Work.